So we've got our clad boy configured for roof panels up to 10 meters long on standard core thicknesses and up to a roof pitch of 20 degrees. We've assembled the machine in the transport cradle and that's the best place to assemble it. It's also the best place to store the machine when you're not using it. Now by storing it in this cradle, uh, the suction pads are kept clear of the ground. They're allowed, the seals are allowed to re regain their shape overnight. And the machine cabinet itself is upright and in that position it's got maximum protection from the rainwater. So please store it in the cradle as shown uh, when you're not using it. Now the Clubboy CB4, like all of our vacuum lifters, is a battery operated unit. Inside the main cabinet you'll see a battery, vacuum pumps, a battery charger here and various other components. There's no real need to access inside that cabinet so that can stay locked. When the machine arrives on site the battery will have been charged charged at our warehouse and it will be suitable for a full day use on arrival on site. Once you've used it you need to put the machine on charge. The charging cable is in a box on the side of the machine. It needs to connect to a standard 110 volt supply. When it's connected you can't really see it right now but there's a small LED at the back of the charger cable box and that will illuminate when it's connected to a power supply. When the battery is depleted and you connect it that LED will, will be on red and will go through amber and eventually to green. When the machine battery is depleted, it usually takes six to eight hours to recharge it fully. And for that reason, we recommend that you put them on charge overnight. And don't worry, you can't overcharge the machine. So you can leave it on charge from Friday night till Monday morning without risk of damaging the machine or the batteries. On the same side of the machine, you've got the main power switch on and off. You've got a water drain trap, so that uh, allows you to lift wet panels, just be sensible, wipe excess water away from where the suction pads are going to locate. But if you're working in wet conditions, water will accumulate inside this bowl, and at the end of a working shift, when the machine's switched off and the vacuum's vented, you can drain this by unscrewing this black screw, let the water drip out, and then reinsert the screw and tighten it up. But please be careful, it's a plastic thread, it's easy to cross thread that, uh, so take care and don't over tighten that. On the front of the machine you've got the vacuum gauge, and we'll talk about that later. You've got uh, red and green indicator lights, and on the other side of the machine you've got a voltmeter which indicates the state of the battery. When we switch the machine on that will register. And a Clabboy CB4 is a 12 volt machine, so that needle will only indicate around about 12 to 13 volts. It will never indicate much above there. Don't expect it to go up the full range of the scale, it simply won't. And the final thing on this side of the machine is the vacuum control lever. Uh, to operate vacuum, again we'll show you later, you slide this lever into the green zone, and to release suction, you pull this pin out and slide the lever back into the red zone. So it's as simple as that. Okay, so now we've got the machine in the cradle. We're gonna just attach our overhead crane and lift it out of the cradle. To lift it out of the cradle, you need to pull this locking pin out. This pin locks the machine into the cradle. There's an arc clip at the back and we just pull out the pin. I'm just gonna bring our crane over. We're gonna lift it up. So when you're ready to start using the machine, you've got it connected to your crane, you've assembled it, you're happy with the configuration, and you've got it connected to the crane. So first thing to do is to switch the machine on. You just push the button in. So 
every time you switch the machine on, it's going to go through that cycle. And for that reason, you shouldn't switch the machine off and on between panel lifts. Switch it on for the working session and leave it on until you've lifted your last panel, then switch it off and put it on charge. But now the machine's switched on, I'll just show you the voltmeter on the side. This voltmeter is now registering and it's indicating around about 12 and a half volts. And that's common for this 12 volt machine. As you work the machine throughout the day, that needle may move down slightly and it should end up around 12 or just below 12 volts. But please remember to put this on charge every night, otherwise the following day, the machine battery level will be too low for you to use the machine. So we're gonna stop this video now. We're gonna move this machine across to our sample panel and we'll restart.